वेलकम टू माय चैनल अध्ययन विद फ्लो सो गाइस लेट्स स्टार्ट विद परमानेंट टिश्यू इन आवर प्रीवियस वीडियो आई ऑलरेडी गिव डिटेल एक्सप्लेनेशन अबाउट मेलोस्टोमेटिक टिश्यू ओके नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट परमानेंट टिश्यू ओके नाउ व्हाट इज द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ परमानेंट टिश्यू ओके फर्स्ट गाइस अकॉर्डिंग टू देयर नेम व्हाट यू एक्सपेक्ट गाइस परमानेंट मींस दे कांट डिवाइड मेलोस्टोमेटिक व्हाट इज द फंक्शन ऑफ मेलोस्टोमेटिक टिश्यू दे डिवाइड 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 दे डिवाइड डिवाइड एंड डिवाइड but this is not enough for plant growth na divide 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 they have to be specific at one time they have to be specific na so some cell some cells they enter in their mature stage they get function this cell get mature and they get function this cell will mature and they get function get function now guys now these cells are permanent cells now these are not a meristematic cells because after getting functions they can't divide i repeat again can't divide after getting function clear or not the simple meaning is clear or not okay now permanent tissue is divided into two parts simple tissues and complex tissue let's move towards the simple tissues okay the first examples of simple tissues is parenchyma guys why we call it as a simple tissue because they made up with only one type of cell they made up with only one type of cell so then what is complex tissue they made up with multiple type of cells clear or not clear or not Okay, let's move further. Parenchyma, guys, very important. Parenchyma is very important, guys. Yes, the major component. Yes, guys, this is very important. Uh, okay, this is the diagram of parenchyma. Look at here, guys. Look at here. I know this is irregular in structure. Yeah, ovule shape. Okay, uh, that's not very. Okay, that's not a major. That's uh, shape and size have to be specific. No, guys, it can be spherical. it can be ovule shape it can be round it can be polygonal it can be elongated according to their location according to their function they may be different in their size they may be differ differ in their size yes or not yes or not second property is wait first property is they are major component within the organ second property is they are isodiametric because they have spherical structure ovule round and third pro uh, third property is their walls are thin very thin and made up with cellulose these wall na guys these wall these are thin thin wall and made up with cellulose this is the third property and what is the fourth property they have smaller intracellular space look at here this is the intracellular space intracellular space intracellular space these are intracellular space so fourth property is they have intracellular space now what is the function now fifth fifth property is what you have to remember these fifth properties you have to remember all the properties you have to remember this diagram remember this diagram easy na guys come on guys this is too much easy come on guys this diagram don't take your much time 10 second maximum and you have to label also okay now what is the function fifth fifth is the function photosynthesis wow great you have to describe one line like what is the photosynthesis plant make a food in the presence of sunlight water and co2 their next function is storage the next function is secretion you have to remember this thing now parenchyma is clear or not you have to write these first second third fourth fifth five types of property and then your parenchyma is complete and sixth thing is diagram label diagram guys don't be smart label diagram okay now another part is guys permanent tissue is divided into two parts simple and complex now we start with simple na we started with simple and simple tissues are further divided into two three parts first is parenchyma second is conchyma third is parenchyma yes 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 okay simple is further divided into permanent oh sorry parenchyma colenchyma and sclerenchyma okay let's start with colenchyma look at their name colen okay so colenchyma is mainly 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 found in dia cotyledon plant this is the first property let me change my pen first property guys first property very important yeah this is the major part of uh, major part of all kinds of plant yeah parenchyma is con contained by all kind of plant but colenchyma these are very specific tissues and mostly i'm not saying always found in dicotyledons guys mostly mostly they found in dicotyledons plant this is the first property is it clear is it clear guys what is the second property it is found either as homogeneous layer or in patches second property is what they said if they arrange in homogeneous layer homogeneous means layer form layer layer but somewhere they found in the patches spread in all leaf all tissue spread they found in a layer sequence as well as in patches sequence these are patches 
they are not organized some patch is here some concave is here 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 but they are organized make a layer make a layer guys make a layer organized manner now let's go towards the third property they have thick wall and also made up with cellulose yes or not but the different thing is they made up with cellulose also made up with hemicellulose also made up with pachytin parenchyma is only made up with what guys they are made up with cellulose but the case of parenchyma they made up with cellulose hemicellulose and pachytin now what is the structure of parenchyma cells it may be spherical it may be ovoid shaped it may be round it may be polygonal but in the case of parenchyma what kind of size they have they it may be ovoid shape four property fourth property ovoid shape spherical shape and polygonal shape sometimes they contain chloroplast guys they also contain chloroplast but they don't mention this thing big they don't mention but they mention photosynthesis so use your common sense that without chloroplast how they perform photosynthesis they also contain chloroplast they also contain chloroplast they contain chloroplast that's why they can contribute in which mechanism photosynthesis now here they don't mention photosynthesis but you have to mention photosynthesis why because they use this term chloroplast and chloroplast chlorophyll responsible for what for what photosynthesis so they also contain chlorophyll yeah they also contain chlorophyll they also contain chlorophyll clear or not they are very smart but you are more than smart t cell assimilate food when wait yaar wait 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 mm. okay uh, these cell assimilate food when they contain chloroplast when they contain chloroplast if as you like homogeneous colon chyma contain chloroplast then they can store food they can do photosynthesis but assume if they already in patches form then how we contribute in photosynthesis so if they contain chloroplast they support photosynthesis if they don't contain chloroplast they don't support okay don't this is not a compulsory that all colon chyma they do photosynthesis some do and some not do intracellular space is f okay guys look at here there is space or not no guys they are fully compact i'm drawing here okay now this is not a perfect but uh, you can get a idea there is not a space the space is absent the space between the space between two cells is not present highly compact highly compact so none other than they responsible for support strength yes they provide okay guys listen to me look at here they provide mechanical support to the growing plant of yeah, a growing parts of the plant okay now there is their property is complete or not uh, fifth is fifth is the property is they have chloroplast six properties they have functional support now let's move towards the sclerenchyma according to their line they are long and sharp at the end sharp at the end okay now third type is what now third type is what sclerenchyma what sclerenchyma they are long narrow cell with thick and lignified cell walls in different they are different parenchyma and colenchyma little bit similar but they are different colon uh, chyma and parenchyma somewhere they can relate uh, they can they have mixed functions but sclerenchyma they are totally different because they are long but they are not long they ovule they can spherical but they are long narrow thick and lignified cells these are lignified lignified no no then guys like we say na cellulose hemicellulose pectin according to these substance lignin is also a component lignin is also component they always use they always present in what where sclerenchyma fibrous part fibrous part this part make a rigidness these part make rigidity support strength and also they are dead they does not have cell cytoplasm and all thing they are usually dead without protoplast because they don't have protoplast okay the first property is what they are long narrow thick lignin wall they have few or numerous pits you pits means they are, look at here the opening look at here the opening look at here the opening so anything can enter and anything can exit if i want it to i want to move i want to move what i want to move water then with the help of xylem what to move this direction and this without any breakage without any barrier because they are dead now they don't do any kind of breakage because they don't have protoplasm so easily water can flow without any barrier without any barrier second property is they have few or numerous pit they are usually dead and without protoplast the third property is without protoplast and usually dead now next thing is now next thing is on the basis of variation in the form structure origin and development sclerenchyma may be either fibers and sclerites either fiber look at here, either here 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 either it may be fiber like arrangement fiber like arrangement and it may be sclerite 
it may be sclerite arrangement yes the fiber wait wait four properties it may be either fibers and it may be sclerites let's discuss about fibers okay, so property fibers are thick walled elongated and pointed cell look at here here is one point and here is another point yes or not okay now next thing is sclerites sixth property sclerites what are sclerites they are spherical okay it may be oval shape okay it may be cylindrical shape okay and highly thick okay they are also thick na they are highly thick and dead they also dead with very narrow lumen they have highly lumen guys they have high, high uh, very much lumen but they don't have that much lumen they don't have that much cavity they don't that much uh, space these are commonly found okay guys 7.2 yeah okay okay these are commonly found in the fruit walls of nut okay important where sclerites are present where are sclerites are present some part of the root the name is walls of nuts pulp of fruits like guava pear and sapota seeds coats of legumes legumes plants guys like pea plant soya bean plant okay leaves of tea is clenchyma provide me? obviously guys because they are lignified na definitely they provide what structural support now guys here your here your simple tissue is finished here your simple tissues is complete in previous video we already complete melastomatic tissues now melastomatic after completing with melastomatic tissue now we move towards the permanent tissue the permanent tissue divided into two parts simple and complex in this video we already done this simple tissue in our next video we will start with complex tissue look at here guys we will start from here in next video we will start with complex tissue in complex tissue we done what xylem and phloem in detail yes guys in detail don't worry in detail okay so that's all for now and uh, thank you for supporting me and watching my video and please subscribe if you forget to subscribe my channel and share please share okay guys thank you thank you